Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Race and this is video number 5, Tutorial number 5 where uh, we create a login for admin section. We have already covered, uh, we have created tables as well as we have created this admin section with header, footer and left sidebar keeping in separate file. Now, to create login page, what we will do? Just go to admin section and then just copy index.php, control C and then control V and rename it as login.php. Login.php. And after this, let's edit it. Go to center section where somewhere we have written center. That's what center so here we'll create our form so let's create td div div and div class since we are using bootstrap that's why i will use here bootstrap class login admin login Strong and then strong. So let's see how does it look like. Admin login and then here div div. Okay. So strong and strong and then. DIV it will be call MD six. That means this is bootstrap class. Okay, so if you don't know bootstrap, please refer to bootstrap first so that you can understand what I mean. Actually, this call MD six that means we are dividing two parts parallelly one part is so this is the output actually this is username and this one is the text box okay but as you can see it is far ahead uh, both the bo both the text box and this are far apart so we will make it close together for that let's create one CSS and we will save it in assets when the inside CSS say uh, custom custom dot CSS and right here login dot login box login box and then width 50 percent and then background gray so let's see how does it work this css we will have to include in our uh, header.php header.php so let's open header.php
link rel style sheet link rel style sheet href css and then custom of css we are calling this custom of css into our header section because header is included in all the files that is why i am including this in inside header okay so our css name is login box inside login page i will put here login box Let's see if included or not. The stand of CS is included perfectly, but somehow its property is not applied. Oh, CS is not Assets. It's inside assets actually. So header header. This is header. Then set sets yes yes. And then this yes. So this is our text box and this one is uh, this is our label and this one is our text box so better let make it i'm taking this background because that looks dark gray so custom of css background this one yeah it should look better also i can provide here border border one px dotted and grid let's check it or put left okay so this is your login box and inside login let's keep it as h2 rather so that it will look bigger h2 now let's test it yeah it's bigger now and also margin of the is it's better now it's looking is <coughs> coming into center section similarly we will copy this section and paste below for password here will be password password if you want to apply class then here is from class from control this is bootstrap class from control so password input type text name equal to pa name equal to password and type will be password actually password so let's see how does it look like so the output okay Some mistake. 
Okay, this TLB didn't launch properly. Okay, so this is username and this one is password. So in this one also, you will apply class form control. Class form control. Now it looks like this. And finally, what we will do, we will also add a login box. Here we apply DIV and then input type submit name equal to submit and value equal to each login. The supply class <coughs> in this class ETN ETN uh, success. This is bootstrap bootstrap class ETN success and ETN LG. That means it will be bigger one, large. Okay, so this is a button. Please log in. Let's put bit padding here. Padding 15 px so that 15 px padding will take inside login box. Now it's better. Okay, so our estimate part is complete of login page. Our next step will be to write code for login PHP. So before we start, let's do one thing. Let's do one thing, cut this section and put inside header. So I will paste here. And this style sheet should be inside header. Also, we need to change into admin.php, index.php because keep header only and remove everything because the rest of the things has been included inside header. Okay, this looks same. Now, what we will do? First of all, we have to make a database connection. So, right here, PHP, and then, and one more thing, one more thing, since this is login page, so we don't need this left side bar, as well as this drop down, we don't need. Only the header section will be there and put it not not sidebar in this login.php because unless the admin access the dashboard, he cannot access this part without logging in. So in login page, we don't need this. So what we will do is simply comment this sidebar and the side sidebar will disappear from login page. Only the login page. Okay, we don't need this and also. Here, the logout section and setting section, we can comment out because we don't need that in login page. In the rest of the pages, we will need all those things sidebar as well as 
header login success okay so the next thing is to make database connection for that we will create a new page save it as db connect.php you can give any name what you like so php here will be dollar com dollar com equal to my sql i connect my sql i connect and then localhost this is the host name or localhost and then username localhost the username is root and the password is blank and then dollar uh, select db mysqli select db and then dollar com then database name what database name is e-commerce e-commerce let's check if it works properly or not we can apply here or we can write here or dial database connection error and here you can write or dial the base selection error let's check if it works or not so open here db connect dot php if it, it is not showing anything that means our database connection is perfect so now we will include this page into our login page so right here require once db connect connect dot php and then we write here code for login authentication so see you in the next video stay connected see you in the next video bye bye